Hello, welcome back. I'm Rosie, I'm a food writer, and in this episode, I'm gonna show you how to make roasted mackerel, and we're gonna do it with a lemon couscous, some romesco sauce, and cauliflower. Okay, so the first step is to preheat the oven to 180, um, and then what I've got here is a lovely, uh, fresh mackerel that I just got my fishmonger down at Brixton Market to gut and clean for me. Um, and if you use a fishmonger, they should be more than happy to do that for you. Um, and what happens is it means it's got a nice cavity in the middle um, and you can stuff it full of delicious aromatics. So I'm going to use some fennel because it just works so well. The aniseed with the oily fish. Um, and I'm going to bake this whole in a packet made from um, greaseproof paper. And for more information on quantities and things, just check out the description box. So I'm filling this with sliced up fennel and some of the green um, fennel tops because I think it looks really good. Um, and some nice lemon. The reason I love this dish is because I'm so lucky to live in an area where we've got so many wet fishmongers, which are a real dying breed actually. So I've got a bay leaf that I'm going to put in as well for extra flavour because bay works really, really well with fish and, it, and with the fennel as well. Um, and don't worry about filling it too full because it's really about getting as much flavour in there as you can. Um, so some salt and pepper as well. And I use Malden sea salt because I just think it's got a great flavour and texture to it. And now I've got, the, I've got a sheet here of greaseproof paper. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the fish, transfer the fish onto the paper. I've got some extra virgin olive oil I'm just drizzling over, just going to rub it over the fish so that it doesn't stick to the paper. Let's bring this over here and then I'm just going to put a splash of white wine in for some more flavour. I'd use, I'd always try and use um, like a fairly nice white wine. Don't use one that's just got old and manky in the fridge. And then just wrap, fold the grease piece paper over. Try and give it some space. And just seal it up like that. And then I just tie it at the ends with a bit of string. And then put it in the oven on a fairly high shelf for about 20 minutes. Right, so while that's cooking, I'm going to make the romesco sauce. So the first thing you want to do is um, blend up some roasted red peppers. Now you could roast these yourself, or I, what I've done is I'm going to use the stuff in the jars that I get from Knorr, Cash and Carry in Brixton, um, because it's, these are fantastic. I mean, you can see they've still got the charring on them, um, and they're just really juicy and sweet. So just cut them up fairly big because you're going to put them in the blender but it just helps if you've got a tiny little thing like this which is what I'm using um, and before you blend those up you're going to actually blend the toasted almonds and garlic um, and what I've done is I've got flaked almonds and I've just griddled them for a couple of minutes with the garlic um, to get them toasted so pop those in and then I'm going to take these out while I blend the peppers and I'm going to add in a little bit of tomato puree as well just to give it a bit more sweetness okay then I'm going to add in some breadcrumbs this is sourdough breadcrumbs but you could use any white breadcrumb And then just add in the ground almonds and garlic. And if you want to know more about quantities, just check out the description box. So I'm just going to go straight in with the olive oil. But if you were using peppers that you just roasted at home yourself, you, you might want to use a dash of sherry vinegar or red wine vinegar would be okay. Even white wine vinegar would be fine. And now the sauce is ready, just put it in a nice serving bowl. 
For more recipes like this, click on the subscribe button. So to go with the fish, we're gonna do some nice lemon couscous, and that is just very easy to make. It's just some couscous with some lemon zest um, and a little bit of lemon juice and some salt as well. I'm gonna put a bit of very finely chopped parsley in there too. Um, so if you put all that in and give it a bit of a mix. And then you just add some boiling water to the couscous so that it covers it. And the couscous is going to swell up. If you, if you leave it now and cover it, the couscous will swell up. Um, and that's done, so it's really, it's really easy. Right, so the couscous is done, the fish is cooked, um, and I'm just gonna assemble the dish. So first I'm gonna fork through the couscous just to separate the grains. And you'll see it's all puffed up and lovely. Just gonna pile that onto the plate. Let's see my fish. And this would be the kind of thing that you could quite easily do for four people. Um, and it, it's just a case of putting it in the oven and waiting for it to cook. So it's so simple. And if there's any juice in the pan, just drizzle that over, because that's lovely. And I'm gonna pour the romesco out on here. And then I've got some cauliflower that I've just roasted in the oven for about 12 minutes with some um, chili and smoked paprika and salt and olive oil. I'm just popping that on there. I'm just gonna scatter some, some basil over the top because I think it works really well with the romesco because it's got that lovely freshness, that aromatic, sweet basil. And this is it, a really um, fresh, colorful, aromatic roasted mackerel with romesco roasted cauliflower and lemon couscous. Nice for a summer's day. Right, well this is the last of my recipes for uh, Brixton Kitchen. I hope that you've enjoyed them. Uh, they're some of my favorite, most personal dishes. So um, it's been a pleasure to share them with you.